They got me, guys. I didn't see it coming. This whole time, I thought I was here with you guys in the community. The shirt's on. It's official. I salute everybody. I get everybody in F's and chat to represent this moment where Archie embarks on his new journey. Go and have an interview with Rogue. All right, let's go ahead and begin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have an interview with the lead designer of Rogue Planet, and I'm here to basically showcase this individual. We're going to keep it very short and simple. No more pushing the buttons. Keep it focused. We have this gentleman waiting. Thank you guys all in chat, Visca, hanging out. It's time to begin. Let's go ahead and get this party started. You guys know the rest of the story. Here comes the one and only Rel. Here we go. You had you me doing? concerned for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. I didn't know you could be so sad with uh, such an, <laughs> an outgoing, exuberant individual. It's ridiculous. ridiculous. I, just, I just wanted them to know, like, hey, there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance that these, this could happen. But anyways, I wore this shirt thinking that Rel's going to wear this shirt this time. But no, he changes the shirt. And I'm like, oh, you little. And so we're here getting other guys. We're going to go ahead and basically tell you the current rules and systems that happen here. If you guys want to ever know how this interview question got started, it is in our Discord. There is a Discord location here by typing that command in. If you guys want to know all the commands in our Twitch chat, that's how you type in um all the different titles that you guys can take advantage of guys thank you guys so much for basically your patience um lead designer rel is here tonight we're going to start with our first question that got the highest votes we don't have enough time to get all the questions in so we're going to go and do a quick three minute burst round he's going to read the question and then he's going to answer it i'm going to keep him on track we're going to switch it to the next question even if rel could not answer completely thank you all for your patience thank you guys for stopping by let's go ahead and now begin question hey, do you want to tell uh do you want to tell everybody how you gathered your questions? Oh, or gathered these, these questions? Yes. Uh, so basically, the way I gathered these questions, guys, was very simple. I do an at everyone on my Discord. I do an at everyone on my Twitter account. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Discord if you want to get involved in the community in Planetside 2 and RCTV's community. Again, if you don't follow me on Discord, when I do an at everyone and I tell you guys, hey, you have 24 hours as an outfit to think of a question. I'm closing it exactly at 24 hours. Guys, I literally spent over 12 hours fixing all the overlays, getting your questions, working together with each and every outfit to make sure you guys change your questions so that way it's legible enough and respectful and positive. So again, don't make me work too much. And at the same time, you guys are all amazing. So again, follow me on uh, uh, RCTV. I'm not going to go to your discords anymore. I'm going to focus only on my discord. So again, if you're not on my discord, you will not get the chance to basically answer these questions. All these people above have gotten the ability to come in and then we have the ability to vote for it. You'll see right now 57 for Charlotte Platt from MM Millennium Marines uh, from Miller. And he is the Terran Republic representative for his outfit. And Rel is now going to begin his questioning begins now. All right. So. Do you want to announce the names or you want me to do it? Uh, announcing the name for Charlotte Platt is right there. I just basically put it in the middle. Okay, cool. So, uh, Ch Cheryl, Cheryl Platt uh, from Millennium Marines, is there any possibility that your dev team uh, or uh, for your dev team to play on live servers once a month, uh, like playing a full squad or so? First, it could be done like some events so players could gain extra experience uh, for killing devs. And second, it could help your team find out some of the problems you cannot see while playing solo. So, um, not all of us actively play, but uh, many of the the planet side two developers do. Uh, you know, I probably play the most. Kemo probably plays. Uh, pro I mean, nowadays probably about the the same. Um, but as far as squad play, we all kind of do our own thing. Uh, playing or organizing as a dev team would be realistically be disruptive. To everything that we're doing, I think that so my my personal opinion is that everybody should be trying to play the game on their own. And of course, you know, you play with squads or you play with outfits and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, having this, we we did in the past on the old team, it was it was a nightmare. 
It was really bad. Uh, it didn't last too long. Awesome. Anyway, that's a depressing question. Uh, so here, here I want to rephrase answer. that question because you have about a minute. And so my question would be, would you be interested in playing with streamers? So that way you're part of the community. That way we can grab one developer to play with a streamer, get us to get a chance to see you. And of course, when we're Twitch partner, we can actually do double face cam so people get a chance to see that. It's a lot easier. Um, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, I think that what they're they're looking for is like having all the, the devs play, you know, or just yeah. like a, a team of devs. And, uh, and yeah, that's to me unrealistic, but uh, having uh, playing with streamers, like that's, that's something that is possible. Again, it's like on personal time though. So it's like me doing this with you on the, the weekend right now. Thank uh, you so much. People would have to be willing to, yeah. We're gonna go to the next question now. Um, we're gonna go with BRTD Daywalker outfit, BRTD, better than dead. Server Miller, that's a European any, server, Terran Republic, go ahead. Uh, any plans for adding companies? Multiple platoons are or are able to band together to facilitate outfits with multiple platoons working as a team or multiple outfits working together. Outfit, outfit, multiple, multiple. Um, yeah, so alliances, or I'm sorry, uh, companies is an idea that's been around for a long time. And I don't have a, I don't have a good answer for this. So any plans? No, not currently, but it's not a question. Uh, it depends on on how important it is to have like a continent wide organization. Actually, you know, I think in our last interview, somebody had mentioned um, having a like, what was it? Uh, waypoints show up like the platoon waypoint of the platoon leaders uh, kind of visible to, to everyone. And that seemed like a good solution to to help facilitate uh, coordination across the entirety of the of the, uh, the, the faction you know, on a continent. So it's something to think about. Um, certainly not a priority, but okay. uh, these ideas are all good. Awesome. Uh, so if we have basically two platoons, three platoons, we can at least see the platoon leader. So we know at least where platoon leader positioned that if we're on the second platoon and then waypoints from that platoon leader. So that way it showcases to only platoon leaders, those waypoints. It doesn't confuse the rest of the squads. Only platoon leaders know different colors for the other faction alliances. Is that? Yeah, we'd have to figure out exactly how we'd want to do it. Like yeah. if could you know look completely different or could be like that only like people within an alliance if that's something that we ended up doing you know could see them that sort of thing very cool thank you so much i appreciate it. uh next question we're gonna go with we're just doing we're going lightning rounds guys this is yes. incredible yes, please lightning rounds oh no this is a pushing a button question looks like it uh dig <laughs> ladies and gentlemen maelstrom 26 ask for push the button we're gonna do a quick outfit D.I.G. Dignity of War. Server Miller. Faction. The Vanu Sovereignty. Question. Use the push of the button, Arshi, you little. Uh, <laughs> hail to the <laughs> glorious Papa Vanu. And their question. Go ahead, Rel. Uh, many large outfits like ours need more leadership level tools in order to help us manage our membership and platoons. We'd like to know if the the low quality life suggestions are possible to be mentioned to the wider dev team. Uh, one inactive members prune button to remove everyone from an outfit who has been offline for more than two or three months. Um, two, a new map layer, which is visible to everyone in an outfit. We already have the platoon level map should hopefully be simple enough to open that to an outfit level. This will help with multiple. Okay, so uh, similar concepts. And so for number one, the, the... <laughs> I don't want to say like you reap what you sow <laughs> sort of thing, but if, you, if you're like pulling in that many members, it's probably an issue. But that's not to say that we shouldn't have this tool too um, to, to prune people. I think that's a good idea. I don't know what it would take at the moment to get something like that done, but uh, it's, it's worth thinking about. Uh, a new map layer, which is visible to everybody in the outfit. Uh, we already have. Okay, so I think this kind of strikes on the question that we, we just answered with them. Um, uh, organi or organizing multiple groups of players across at a larger level, whether that's within the outfit or um, or faction wide. So again, these are these are good ideas. Just um, no priority on it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank you so much. We're gonna go to the next question. Here we go. Do 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 do. Let's reset the timer. All right. So this is from who. And also B Way, Canadian Pride 120, outfit name B Way, Bushido Way, Server Emerald, Faction, Von of Sovereignty, and their question. Uh, is it ever in the books to look into the mouse acceleration, dead zones, uh, and smoothing vehicle controls? Currently, joystick dead zone and joystick sensitivity seem to contribute to the sensitivity even when enabled joystick 
excuse me, setting is unchecked. Uh, a lot of people have issues with flying simply because the acceleration curve is so wonky. So I was wondering if it was ever going to be fixed or reworked. Uh, this is something that I've seen come up a couple of times. And what would be helpful for me is if, uh, if there were videos demonstrating exactly what happens um, and like the, the differences that, that you're noticing, because this sort of topic is just, it's way too nebulous to, to address um, from a question like this. So I would say that like right now we're not looking into it, but if you give us like a good, um, some really concise like uh, comparisons, I guess. So to, I, have, like, uh, how... I have some examples. Um, so this okay. is from the flight team. I'm gonna make a, an entire, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say you live right now and I have a minute and 45. I know Rel needs <laughs> to speak, right. hashtag Rel speak. Um, so a lot of the fly pilots are telling me when you move your mouse just for a micro inch, the, the ESF does not move. And then when you basically want it to stop, you have to move it a little bit further. So which basically prevents the calibration of your ESF. And some vehicles have that issue. And so we understand that tanks basically need to reduce the speed for having a basically long distance. So you can't run around and basically snipe anyone. But the ESF's beginning control with the mouse needs it equalized with the mouse movement. So that way we're not moving it. I don't even know how much centimeters or inches or basically we're talking about here, but that's the issue. Okay, are you, are you talking about like um, like up and down? Oh, we're talking about or... just raw and then basically up and down. Both of it basically is an issue, but I'm going to ask okay. them to basically be clear, clear, concise. I'll come back to you when I have more information. I'll let them okay. basically yeah. direct it to you. Yeah, that, that'd I'm be not a good idea. Here. Yeah. So then, I, okay, thank you guys so much. We're going to go to the next question. Uh, that was from Who and VUA. All right, let's go to next question. This is from Wolken Wan, RE4. Um, the outfit is the Reapers. Cobalt is their server from new, uh, from Emerald. The faction is a new conglomerate in their question. Uh, are there plans to increase the quality of life for open platoon? Large <laughs> Man, this is a very common question. Uh, addition for you, Arshi. Oh, that's, oh, that's for you. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Arshi, leading tends to be tiresome, especially public platoons. Would the devs enjoy a session with outfits that have specialized in this field to experience the impact and its problems firsthand? I think uh, it's similar to my right. outfit spotlights. Would you be interested, Rel, in uh, having the opportunity to do an outfit spotlight with me? And that way the two of us can basically watch their outfit run around and have fun and have woke and wand or have outfit leaders sit down with you and talk about what they actually deal with in a game if you're interested in having that personalized moment similar to that. And the timer just went off. Yes, or no? Uh, maybe. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, as far as the first question, though, it's, it's something that we had addressed before. Kind of, sort of. Awesome. Uh, and any plans to increase the quality of life? Okay, so you said yes. Any plans to increase the quality of life? You're saying yes, yeah, right? No, no, there's no, no, no plans, plans at the moment. Perfect. That's right. a mixture. Yeah. No plans at this moment, but are interested in the future. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I just want to make sure it's not like a direct no, that there's a, there's a maybe. No, no, um, these are, yeah, they're, these are, they're good problems to, to bring up. Thank you. Um, awesome. Next question. T, Toxic Zerg Servers, Billy. AKA interlude. Just kidding. Uh, server, Cobalt, uh, it's Emerald. Uh, <laughs> Cobalt is a European server. Faction, Von of Sovereignty, their question. Uh, performance was really good for a few months after DX11. Good frame rates and or frame times and frame rates. Sadly, it's going to be, or it's been going downhill rapidly ever since last year's Halloween update. Performance seems like a huge issue to us. This is an FPS game. Lots of new and returning players. So we'll be turned away if it's bad. Okay. Uh, is, is there any work being done on this front? So, yes, there is. There's always um, so this this stuff happens in the background. Um, like we we mention it here and there in patch notes uh, that like certain you know fixes for like crashing or the performance related fixes have made their way. But it's like it's like um, we we have to. Like the, the problems tend to arise because of you know whatever reason, and then we have to hammer them back down. So so yes, um, and if you do have a like a list of actions and bases and that sort of thing, yeah, that that would help me. Um, so feel free to send any of that information our way. All right, uh, how would you like to basically have that information sent to you uh, via my Discord and my directness to you, or do you want it basically directed to you in Twitter, forum post? How would you like it? Um, I, I think forum posts are good. We all read Reddit. Well, I shouldn't say all, but but uh, we read Reddit quite often. I certainly do because I'm addicted to it. Um, but the like, if you want to message me um, on Discord as well, that's completely fine. 
Awesome. So or the, T... or the bugs forum on on the uh, the Planet Two Discord is is useful as well. Awesome. So basically, T Billy, you got permission to basically direct message uh, to Rel. I'm gonna give you guys a little example of what happened on Twitter earlier. Every single time Rel posts, everybody thinks it's okay to just ask questions, and I'm just warning you right now, it's not cool to do that because that means you don't give a to about the actual individual. Um, listen to the messages that's uh, happening on there. So he's giving permission to Billy, not the entire world. Billy, you have the opportunity to go and summarize this and give it directly to Rel in Discord. Thank you, guys, for being respectful and positive as always. You will get your opportunity to have that as well, and I'll help you, like always. You know how much I love you guys. Thanks. Next question. Aries Company. Outfit. Aries Company. Uh, I already said that. Uh, Chef Cut is the actual questionnaire. Uh, good to see you, buddy. Uh, Server, Miller, Europe. Faction, Terran Republic. Their question. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are your thoughts on the following idea regarding a more extensive use of desolation for more people? Using a specific ter terminal and sanctuary to create an event with date and time unlocked desolation to send invite to other outfits. Uh, I'm going to stop it right here because this is something that has uh, that we have talked about. Uh, it's something that um, Luke Sigmund, for example, he's the uh, development director, has has wanted for a long time. So these sorts of things aren't out of the question. What we need to do before then is just make sure that the system as a whole works and make sure that everything is fun to play on and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the 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 outfit versus outfit, like matches are something that we we have talked about there's no plans for it but but we do want to get more use out of out of desolation awesome. um but to continue the question uh when two outfits have accepted desolation will open for three outfits in date and time yada 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 um do you understand the situation yeah i mean that's, that's basically it okay so so i want to just clarify this i just want to hear if you uh from my point of view we mm -hmm. go to a we go to sanctuary there's a little terminal I press E, I submit, and I put a password on it. And then that means I get two other outfits come out. They basically type in the password. We link up on a Friday at 4 p.m. to do a, uh, a sanctuary direct desolation fight that is not part of the outfit wars designed by RPG. It just gives us an opportunity to practice with three other outfits with our 48, similar to outfit spotlights with me. Would that be possible? Something like that would be possible. Yes. Perfect. It's not in the yeah. works. Would be possible. Are you interested right. in that? Yeah, yeah, no, like I said, it's something that we have talked about. Uh, there is an interest in doing it, just no timeline. It's kind of like really low on the priority list in the scheme of things, but um, probably probably would bump up in priority if uh, if Desolation comes out of its alpha, its testing cycles, and then starts to be a, kind of a more real, real thing. How can we convince you that this is something we want, uh, like now, like as soon as it's over? Like this is something uh, that we'll, we'll basically hug your leg and beg <laughs> you for it. Um, Convince me that that there are tens of thousands of players who are interested in participating um, mm -hmm. commonly or like often, and somehow don't also ruin the sandbox because this is all they want to participate in. Okay. So there's there's limitations, right? So something that we have to observe, and I'm just going to go off a tangent for a little bit, is um is we have to to make sure that the sandbox is maintained so that there's always people in it, and that's why outfit wars are so um, kind of structured down right now. Because we we just want to we, we don't want to uh, kind of betray that because a lot of people associate with Planet Side Two with the, the sandbox um, uh, sort of feel and like we all know what open continents feel like when there's less than like max population um, and it, it isn't great it kind of doesn't reflect Planet Side Two so we have to find um, a balance and for this idea in particular this is more of a want this is not a need to have and there's a lot of needs to have needs to have need to have um currently that exist in the game like fundamental things like uh you know new player tutorial or you know spawn system revamp or uh just better guidance and objectives that sort of thing yeah awesome thank you so much time next question there we go uh this is from derp company dr quack derp um here we go we got uh the server emerald their faction the spandex vanu all right their question yeah are there uh any plans for adding additional alert types back into the game to give us more objective variety and goals so alert types is something that we use for the time being have walked away from and i think that the way that they make make it back into the game is more like um world events like in uh in warhammer online or um or guild wars that sort of thing where it's localized and you kind of go into that area and there's something cool going on uh the 
So, so yeah, maybe. Uh, the thing with alerts in the past is that the participation is really high to start. And then once the novelty wears off, so, do, so does the participation. Uh, the only alert that's been consistently participated in nonstop is like the end of content alert. And that's the one that we're just going to emphasize right now because uh, it was a big outfit related update with escalation. And, um, and everybody's kind of playing to win at that point. So, so it's like the safest bet for us. Yeah. So awesome. that's what I got. Thank you very much. No, you're doing fantastic. We're, we're doing fantastic on time, by the way. Uh, we got Mercenaries, Warbird TD, um, and their con uh, the server is Connery, uh, Faction is the Terran Republic, uh, and their question. Uh, now that outfit-focused improvements have been successful, is it possible to have some quality of life improvements to the platoon windows, such as player resource counter, dead players, last played class, or the ability to swap between squads? Um, so when there's a lot of um, asks for this sort of thing, but I think one of the problems that we tend to struggle with is the amount of information that we're conveying to the, the player uh, and doing so in an organized way. Like we uh, fitting fire teams in, for example, um, was a big ask that was, hi, Mayan, thank you for the raid. Ah. Um, <laughs> uh, that's been asked uh, for a number of times or a number of times over the years. And it's, it's always, it's difficult to find the space for, uh, so what we need, I think, is to kind of rethink how we convey some of this information and just like the place that it lives on the screen. And then we can look into making things more complicated. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So then basically overall assessment that I'm hearing basically is um, they want more outfit improvements. Are you thinking about adding that again in the next updates or so? Are you allowed to even say that? No, no, we're, we're not, um, we're not focused on that right now. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. You guys heard it live on stream. Oh crap. Don't do that. Uh, cause then I push the button, then it just leads all downhill. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's like, no, Archie, no, <laughs> it's like, uh, six, 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 uh, devil dogs, nebbles. Uh, we're gonna call her dark nebbles, uh, server Connery faction, the new conglomerate, their question. Dearest Terrell, <laughs> 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 would you, uh, for chance know of any plans to visually update, uh, the old weapon models? We desire to see more individuality and uniqueness in the older models. Um, it's it would we'd really like to do that at some point someday i uh, i think if that were to happen it's 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 always hard to make the argument because because it's not a you can't make money directly from it is what it comes down to and then there's also people who are like attached to the old models too so you have to find uh some middle ground i think that a lot of uh what we've kind of been doing with the newer models is maybe more like a, a style that we should kind of move toward and it's not difficult to do it just takes more time so i have a question yeah so i i wouldn't say there's no plans um but it is something that i think we should we should do like in little bits and pieces at the very least um kind of throughout the years awesome i have a question uh to make sure you guys still can make money uh when you guys actually add new items to future guns and attachments can you basically add them to the old guns so that way they can get beefier if they add that uh, additional implant that makes your gun turn into like a skin, like things like that. You can get skins for guns that basically like beast it out. That way people can put it under the guns and just explode the guns previously. So, uh, so attachment wise, it becomes like a balance concern at that point. Some guns are defined by the attachments that they have uh, on them, but as far as skins go, so this is kind of serendipitous, but, um, we do not have the ability to do skins in the traditional sense uh, in Planetside 2. We we get to do entirely new guns. Like they're an entirely new item. They have an entirely new directive. And it's like serendipitous in that this has been a more desirable oh um, path of, of revenue uh, for us as well. So Damn, so you can't take advantage of what the other games are doing. That sucks. Right, right. But I think that it's Holy better crap. with this. Is it? I, I, I think so. Because like when we put in a new uh, new gun, right? Even if that gun is a is a new, like it's just a shiny version of the of an old gun, uh -huh. it's attached to a new directive. So the people who are hardcore are using that weapon, um, and then they get to kind of they they have a goal now with that old weapon. So it's not just like a, a flavor piece, like wearing a different you know camo or a, a set of armor. And it's been, I think, over the years, it has been kind of one of these really serendipitous positive um, decisions. Okay. Or I guess not a decision at that point, but yeah. Makes sense. 
Okay, we're yeah. gonna go next question because I just gone past time. All right, so yeah. GOTR Robo CP uh, F1 outfit, the Ghost of the Revolution server Emerald faction, yeah. the Vano Sovereignty. Hey Robo, uh, is there a plan to lock Anvil at, uh, access to outfit squad or platoon use only? Currently, any friendly can steal the Anvil if they if they get to cr uh, the crate first. So the intent uh, of the system is is not only to support just yourself, right? But to also support like uh, people elsewhere. So if you wanted to drop a Sunderer for, so that people can help and you know, take a base elsewhere, uh, you could potentially do, do that. Uh, it might make, so I, like people don't use it that way. They, they just don't, but that was the intent behind it. So a way that you can get around this is just by dropping it in a place where you are, <laughs> are like waiting for it. You know, it's, um. I, I don't think it's super difficult to uh, to make sure that this crate doesn't get nabbed. Um, I mean, it's not it's not a bad idea. It's certainly something we can do. I somehow think that it'll cause more bugs than uh, than it'll solve, but it would be really cool. For example, um, with some of the the ideas that people had earlier about like you know, coordinating platoons, you know, across the faction, that sort of thing. If you were willing to uh, kind of help your friends out uh, by sending you know a sender their way and that sort of thing. Well said. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, squad platoon. Okay, so now I have another adjustment to that question, but I think somebody else asked that question. We'll keep going. Here we go. TLFT, Dingbada, Outfit, The Lost Frontier, Server, Connery, Faction, The Terran Republic, and their question. Our outfit is really looking forward to experimenting with the Colossus just to see how capable it is and how hard it'll be to fight. One of the biggest questions, though, uh, that we're hoping you can clarify is what your guys' thoughts uh, on re renaming it to the Mega Flash 2 Better Strike Fear. That's OK. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Why did this one get upvoted? Stop. <laughs> That's half our entire uh... Comedy division. That's what the plan side's all about. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. They came in expecting results to help out to bring the comedy side. You should have seen their uh, outfit spotlight. I literally died more than the enemy could even find me. Like we would just implode the moment our center just uh, disappeared. It was hilarious. Uh, good. TLFT is the number one. The number one. Hey, TK. TKP. KDR. T. Team killing death ratio. I can't even do it, man. My brain just is oh not going to that. Yeah, they have the highest <laughs> team kill death ratio. And they also are the first, world's first, Bastion fleet carrier destruction as a team kill. Unbelievable yeah, I, coordination. I want to know how you pulled that off because you're technically not supposed to be able to do that. So uh, um, please feel free to send them over my way. No, so they that want that. It. Keep that. They have to I, keep it. You wouldn't be nerfing as as, TLFT if you did that. As, as soon as other people figure it out, like that's just going to be a thing that happens. Like, let us help you. <laughs> help us help you. I didn't yeah. think of that. We're going to go next question. Uh, give me one second. Oh, is it uh, orbitals? Uh, okay, well, Ewa, there you go. Ewa, can you cut this out of the film? Thanks, let me get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're saying right. orbitals. Yeah. I, that's not what it looked like on the, the video. I saw that video this, this morning. Yeah. All right, next question. We're going to go with the boys. The boys are back in town. Uh, Zealous, server, Cobalt, faction, Vonda Sovereignty, and their question. Uh, any update on the in-game voice comm bug? Yeah, so actually Andy Seitz um, did a whole thread on this uh, yesterday, I believe. And um, you can you can check that out. It's, let's see. Uh, so we are currently working on it, but it is very difficult to, to track down. So any additional information is important. Obviously, this is a really important um, uh, bug for us to solve. But uh, yeah, it's it's really elusive and yeah, <laughs> it really sucks. I don't know what else to say about it. We're just we're we um, have started focusing on it uh, again. Like we've taken a couple of swings at it in the past, and those speculative fixes have made their way into the updates, and it has not helped. So we're still looking into it. Fantastic. My next question would be: Are you? Um... Is this your job? Like, is this what you do? Like, is this what you're part of? Like, is so someone else that basically manages the in-game? Yeah. Spot? So this, uh, this specifically would be on a programmer, not a designer, uh, because there is a lot of like, uh, probably I, I wouldn't. I guess 
maybe not if i say engine level it's probably not the the right uh verbiage because but it's, it has something to do with the way that our um that we're sorting people into channels most likely it's just my guess again i'm not a programmer uh <laughs> and i have to remind myself of that quite often but just yeah. for my question would be right now alan lepid is environment in the lead uh and then you right. got uh carto <clears throat> level lead um mm -hmm. so are they considered programmers no oh damn. No, those are uh, those are designers so uh, so Cardo is like myself. Uh, he has a lot of the same capabilities as I do. Uh, Alan is an artist, um, so n not a designer, but um, but he he can do some design related things uh, with with the art side of of it. Uh, and then so you have uh, Chris Ferrar, he's our technical director. Um, Garrett Brush uh, is a, a programmer who is uh, signed on recently, and there's a couple other programmers as well. So welcome those by are the, the way, Garrett. Who... Welcome to Planet, uh, Rogue Planet Games, yeah. and also this community basically welcomes back. you guys. Everybody, let's welcome the new individual, Garrett, guys in chat. Honestly, well done. I mean, thanks for coming yeah. or being here, whatever you're at. You're probably at home. All right, <laughs> <clears throat> this next place. Um, there we go. Next question from Alpha. This is an individual who has done Bastion Smash, also contributed to an epic video that it was on the Splash Launcher. Uh, super humble guy. Uh, he loves basically pandas and is a panda if you didn't meet him in real life. Super fluffy. I really gave him a big hug and it just fits all over my arm. Love the man. Uh, <laughs> Cobalt, Emerald server he plays on. He's a great player as well. Faction, everything. That means if you basically hire him, give him enough bamboo, he'll be on your team. Faction question. I mean, question. Uh, let's see. What are your uh, plans to for the support content creators? Two examples. Are we going to see more collections, potential spotlights, etc.? Are the tools given to the content creators specifically in regards to the observer camera and client side commands going to be improved or expanded on? So uh, there are no plans for the for the observer camera to change, but it has changed a little bit. And this is just like stuff that I was doing kind of in my off time. Like now you can see people from further away. Um, still want to make that work with with vehicles and like nameplates and that sort of thing. Um, ideally, it would be given some some upgrades, but it is not easy to do that. And it is, it is of uh, questionable value in like the scheme of things because people are creating like amazing videos right now. So, so it's hard to say that. And you know what? We used to create amazing videos back in the day without it too. So, uh, content creation or the, the tools for content creation has gotten a lot better uh, over time. And we have done these initiatives like to give out more observer cameras to people, and that's kind of one of the things that we're doing to support content creators. Um, there is a contest that I should probably promote. Entries are happening now and going through the end of May. I wonder uh, where we can find it. <laughs> so if you go to the Planet Side 2 main page, uh, there's, a, there's an article there for you. I should probably find a link for it and throw it in chat. But um, It's also on the launcher yeah. too, guys. If you guys open a Planet Side 2, you'll see it right on the main launcher. And so yeah. guys, these guys are doing fantastic work. Um, how do you get on the launcher? Do, does it like rel? Do you just like have it right now on your phone? You just like take a picture and put it on the main launcher. You're, you're setting me up for this question because ah. we talked about it a couple of days ago. <laughs> no, I I don't I don't want to no, go into it because I don't know the I, just, I don't know the answer specifically. Like I questioned myself uh, towards oh, the end of the I'm night. I'm sorry, I thought we had 100 percent on that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought I, was, I just want to help out other people know the reasons why it takes time. <laughs> I just don't want to misspeak uh, on, on live oh, stream. You're well. smart. Very smart. Thank you. Uh, here, next question. I was just trying to get everybody else informed as well. Yeah. I get um, you. But I haven't told anybody. Uh, so, Farah, <laughs> next question. Ooh, Farah. Uh, I, I and I, Elite, uh, PSB. Uh, this PSB is Planet Side Battles. That's happening right now. Lane Smash is going on. And then we got the Community Smash coming up next. Myself and Farah and Poonanners are going to basically take part. Corrales is doing freaking an amazing job with the community doing community smash it's a one-time event that is going to be epic and i mean epic uh, i don't really know who that says that first but anyways long story short get a chance to uh check it out guys honestly if you did not sign up don't worry you'll have an opportunity to do it again cross has done this for a while fair is an amazing uh, shoutcaster or analysis um i'm just the hype guy that just screams all day i don't know what i'm looking at um so here we go his question starts you don't need to read the part or she asked part. Just read the question. How many features plan side one? Go. So so first off, Farah, um, thank you for, for doing everything that you're doing. You're you're probably my favorite caster, no offense, Archie. Um Mother. Very, like, detailed. What? Yeah, All right, we're done. Very gameplay, gameplay oriented. Your knowledge is uh, is unmatched about the game. We're, uh, we're done out of here, guys. <laughs>
just kidding. Uh, I'm just oh kidding. my god! How dare <laughs> I'm just you? Just kidding. I'm just okay. kidding. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Uh, all right. So let's see. I spoke with Arshi and he asked me to dump some feedback here. How many features from Planetside One does the team feel uh, has a home in Planetside Two and is on a developer wish list? This list can range from uh, yeah, this is a long list. Okay. So LLUs um, is something that we've talked about. I've actually started prototyping it, but this was a couple years ago. Those prototypes are lost, and we have to do it over again. But um, it is like anything that breaks up the stagnation from the front lines is definitely something that we'd look at. Uh, base fuel is hard to, you know, should I? I'll just go down this list. Yeah, um, base fuel LLU. is something that we've, yeah, we, we've we've talked about. Probably don't. Um, well, don't have plans for it. Uh, hacking enemy vehicles has been prototyped in the past. Don't have plans for it. Uh, spawn binding. Um, we, we just need to restructure the spawn system, so no real plans for it. Transporting vehicles via the warp gates uh, would be nice to do, but not technically possible at this moment. Enhanced voice macros, uh, current system pales in comparison, would be nice. Uh, voice actors, I think, are probably the, the main problem here. Intercontinental lattice, larger strategic play. Intercontinental lattice does not work, but larger strategic play is probably a better way of thinking of it, something that we'd probably like to do in the future. Continent capitals, uh, sub-base with upgrades and other sub-bases upgrades with other features. I need more information on this. Uh, equivalent to core combat module upgrades, this is kind of sort of going to be going in the next update. Um, the vehicle's currently missing. Uh, stealth, or is the, the Phantasm, the Flail, yada, yada. Um, I don't know enough about the vehicles from Planetside 1 to, to make direct comparisons, but there's no plans for new vehicles anyway outside of the Colossus currently. Um, interceptors might get redone at some point to be like actual interceptors, but we'll see. Uh, Vanu weaponry. The just the ancient Vanu stuff. Like we, we want to do more crazy stuff in the future. It just it comes down to how tolerant the uh, the community is of our experimentation. Uh, guys in the That's community right now in chat, can I ask you to get a yes? We want you to experiment like crazy or no? Uh, that's all I want. A yes or no? No means you don't want them to experiment. Yes, you want them to experiment. Go ahead and spam it across the board, guys. We only have three hundred people here. Maybe Let's see how many people are interested. Yes, I want to show uh, Rel. I want to yes, show Rel. Like I want to see one. more yeses for the next basically 20 <laughs> seconds. And don't stop saying yes for the next 20 seconds to prove to you, Rel, your excitement and your energy, guys. Look at that yes go across the board, yo. Experiment like away. The... We love you. You know how to basically do this. And you make us all happy, man. I appreciate it. And I basically got about 10 more writers. seconds. 10 more seconds of yeses to show proof to Rel. These guys are willing to type yes to show to you. We want you to experiment. Make our minds blown. Change Planet Side 2 to really fun new adventures for us. We have been no doing new content right ever. No new content ever. Wait, what? I really? You only sorry, read. Yeah. You only read sorry, one sorry, comment out of all the planet. <laughs> mother. Okay. That's the only one I saw. Uh, so we're gonna go basically one more minute for Ferris' question because I have a question on top of that. Is it okay if we talk about the stuff you actually worked around, like the experimentation stuff like that you did already in that list, or you want to talk about it? Most we'll skip. I. Uh, you said some prototype. I mean, there, yeah, there's, there's not too much to, to really talk about. So, like the LOUs, for example, is something that I was toying with. Um, I think capture the flag mechanics and just different base mechanics in general are something that we want to to do moving forward because capture and hold works. Um, but but we we could do so much more. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, we I have prototyped something in the past where it was like, well, I guess the, the prototype doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Um, base fuels, though, if we want to go deeper into that, so the, the argument here, you know, just to go into it, is that uh, you could have, for example, ants like refilling at the ammo towers with like nanites and then powering a base and that sort of thing. And the bases could get all sorts of like fun, you know, upgrades. Uh, it did used to fuel spawns, for example, in Planetside 1. And so that the trick here is like if you want that to happen, um, it kind of butts up against some of the problems that we have with accessibility in this game. People right now love that the game moves as fast as it does, but maybe it's, it's gone a little bit too far. But going back this direction, making it rely on, for example, um, if, if base re relied on spawning at Archie staring at his watch, um, <laughs> if a base relied on uh, participating in, in what's like not a very popular mechanic because it's simply not fun, like going up to Accordium, uh, node and then draining it by just holding mouse click and then leaving um, is not not super fun. So we, we wouldn't want to emphasize that until that is resolved, right? Until it becomes a fun part of the game. Then you can kind of make the argument for base fuel. Well said. Thank you. Let's go next question. Okay. You did fantastic. I have to go way. twice as fast for that. You, you were kicking back. Well, Pharaoh's was like free <laughs> when I asked him to. Uh, I got he got, per he got permission from me because Literally, guys, Farah is your basic number one shoutcaster. The community has already told me that. So I said, Farah, give us your knowledge. And he did it. Thank you. 
Uh, Vindicor, Alfred, V, the Vindicators, Emerald Server, Va Faction, Vana Sovereignty. Your question. Are there any mechanics that you would like to implement to encourage flow between territories and make it easier to attack bases? As all too often, squads redeploy to another fight rather than mount up and fight through the field. Yeah, so I think that the the concept of doing like a, a Sirius had a, a micro lattice, you know, concept and that sort of thing. I think that in between territories, um, emphasizing like vehicle capture points is probably like a good way to go because it a you know helps stop back capping, like having to redeploy somebody all the way back uh, once you're trying to like fight across the field. Um, just because there's like some infiltrator on point or whatever, that's that's always obnoxious. But then things like you know LOU, if we go that direction, would be a way to create kind of a micro like a mini game um, that could you, know, you could push up and then instantly capture the base, and that breaks stagnation as well. So we'll have to see. Um, I think if we were to, for example, do new continents, it would incorporate um, more of these these lessons from from the past. And I agree that stagnation is like. It's it's pretty bad right now, and squads do like rather redeploy elsewhere because it's faster and more effective. So if you make the game about moving, you know, through the yeah, doing those open field fights, then it's probably going to be more fun for everybody. I see everybody. You have uh, you have basically a minute if you want. We're, to we're good. Perfect. We're good. Well said. Thank you, Vindy. There we go. Next question. Did I just do it twice? <laughs> that was the same twice question. All right. So are the mechanics? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no, I did not. Oh, I missed the question. Hold on. Go to Goose says, and I'll basically try to bring this question in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so Clutch from uh, CUSA. Clutch-tastic, Emerald, Terran Republic. Uh, only one question. Are the devs working on separating outfit armory permissions to be in outfit rank specific? For example, separate permissions for using orbitals. Um, the So what we focused on for the first time was trying to get like a general permission set that we can use, and then that's why some things were kind of rolled together, like uh, you know, expeditions was with bastions, and then expeditions. The more granular we make it, the more difficult it is for us tech side because of just how the system is set up. But I do agree that it would be nice to to like check all the boxes, right? So like this asset has like these people are able to use it, you know, um, that sort of thing. It wouldn't. I, I think we're probably going to step away from doing like the quality of life. Uh, outfit stuff for a little bit since that we've kind of sap saturated the, the outfit portion uh, of the player base currently and then needs time to get acclimated to metas and that sort of thing. Um, but it is something that makes sense for us to do in the future, like if we do another big outfit-oriented update. Awesome. So my, my um, clarification on this, just be on the same page, is that um, we had an issue with Steel Rain and Bastion be on the same actual permission. We separated that. And now we have a problem with um, the, uh, I guess there was something along the lines of like orbitals and, um, no, sorry, orbitals and something, Bastion were together, something like that. Basically, they want to have a separate checkbox to say, this alpha rank can use orbitals, this alpha rank can use Bastions, this alpha rank can use Steel Rain, this alpha right. rank can use Heavy. Can we get yeah. something like that? Uh, well, that would be the ideal. So like I said, if we end up doing a, another big outfit-oriented update, that is something that we'd probably want to look into doing. Perfect. Thank you. And it's not in the works right now, right? No. Thank you. Nope. That's all I'm going to confirm. Thank you very much. Next question. FIFA. Um, the outfit named FIFA. Uh, Iron Forge Alliance. Server, Connery. Uh, faction, New Conglomerate. And also, I apologize, Clutch. I didn't say your name. That was Kusa Clutch from the Terran Republic. Pleasure to see you, buddy. I was having a heart attack because I missed the question on the 18 and those FIFAs that I missed it. Now I have backup. All right, go ahead. Uh, this game has had a large history of uh, contention and distaste with regards to changes of specific playstyles and metas, usually with very vocal extremes and not necessarily middle ground. Uh, knowing that, how can we as a community bring concerns about specific aspects of Planetside 2 in a fair way to the developers of Rogue Planet games that allow for a response with sufficient context and or potential solutions that explain um, why decisions are made the way they are? Okay, very good question. Um, thank you for... Thank you for doing for uh, doing this question instead of something like "Can I want? Can I have?" Um, because it's it's a complicated problem. It's always a complicated problem because we have a um, a sandbox game that is very um, it doesn't cater to any one specific style of play. There's many ways to play the game, and that's that's honestly one of the pieces that's made Planet Side Two kind of what it is and and helped it uh, stand the test of time. So whenever we make balance changes, um, we kind of have to focus on 
things that are they feel like outliers and they feel like uh, we we can make the the game as a whole uh, better for for having changed. So combine arms initiative, uh, the no notorious uh, update. Uh, the intentions were uh, to do that to kind of help new players and reduce the the feeling of you know being destroyed instantly and vehicles just being able to farm infantry for days. Um, so some of it stayed, some of it went. I think we're at that point where most of it is is balanced now in a, a way that kind of uh, it's very rare, for example, nowadays to see um, tanks just like sitting on hillsides and just like shelling a spawn point. That's that's kind of gone away um, for a lot of different reasons, but uh, in part because of the Combined Arms Initiative. So I think the, the way that you can help us offer or offer feedback is to just, you know, you do a post and then here are your your rationale behind uh, these, these sorts of uh, opinions that you have. It's like if you're an Arab player, you're going to see the game differently as a vehicle player, or differently as, uh, as an infantry player, or differently than a construction player. So we have to kind of filter uh, what you're saying. There's, it's really hard to have a like a unified uh, thought process behind like what the game should be, unless it's coming from the developers themselves. And uh, just because, again, everybody operates very differently. So just basically just keep doing what you're doing. But any sort of feedback, try to keep it kind of level headed. And um, concise. And yeah, yeah, concise and like consider the perspectives of others if you can as well. Awesome. At the same time, guys, don't give 46 page papers anymore to anybody ever right. again. I yeah, can't really handle hard to that. read that. I cannot yeah. handle that. I had to read it all and tell you literally, no, you know, who I'm talking to. Um, so next question I have for you uh, on the same page. Um, if basically you're saying post on the forums, are we talking about Reddit forums? Or are we talking about Planet Side 2 forums? Reddit is much easier for me to read because I am on it um, all the time. Awesome. But um, anywhere, do honestly. You want it to be, do um, you want it to be at RHEL on that type of question? That way they know this is a context question from their community, gathered, delivered, mm -hmm. and it says RHEL in the title, so that way it's kind of hand no. dipped. How would you no, like the no, title? How would you like the body be like it? It's, it's more like you should be having, you should be engaging in a discussion with your community, your, your fellow community members, and then we as developers are observing that interaction. Like it shouldn't be stated directly to us for the most part. Like if it's a, a question about a bug or something like that, yeah, like, that makes sense. But um, but you should be sharing your your thoughts and opinions, not saying like, you know, hey, do this, because that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a taste of what I just did right now with these votes. There's 18 votes on that FIFA post right there. Get 18 of your friends to go and immediately comment on the Reddit post after you post it to show basically your community agrees to this. Put a single message underneath it to help push the idea that this is an important message from your community. If you post it by yourself and none of your alpha gets behind it, I'm sorry, you're not a community, you're a single person. So get your community together and start posting on your Reddit post and pushing it to show proof all the people that do agree and it actually is an actual message that everyone should pay attention to versus a single person expecting results. Thanks, guys. Let's go next question. Copra says uh, that it's vote brigading. This what? is technically against um, Reddit standards, so what? don't. I didn't yeah. know that. I think, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a thing. You're a community. Um, oh. Yeah. What? No, it's gotta, gotta be like, like. Oh God, take anyway. it back. Oh God, yeah. screw that. Uh, I didn't know that's a thing. Uh, yes, to yes. share, uh, cancel that one for me whenever you get a chance. I didn't know that's vote brigading. What does that mean? Uh, Google that for me later. Uh, okay, so <laughs> next question. Uh, TG, it's VTS uh, Tactical Gamer. Good to see you guys again. Uh, uh, faction, new conglomerate, server, Emerald. Their question. Oh, I didn't uh, see the website. Holy crap. I did the, not see that we, we don't need to do it. The, the mandate system was announced. Is it still in the pipeline? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yep. What yes. does yes mean? Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, like, do you want to give uh, more context behind your yes? Yes means like in no, uh, yeah, um, a so year, that we... months, weeks. Uh, I would say, in certainly before the end of the year. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got it. Boom. Yes. Wow. Okay. Ladies oh. and gentlemen. Oh, we got him. <laughs> he just took my quote. Oh. <laughs> I can't push the button because there's no button pushing on the message. Um, oh, I want to push it so bad. All right, Kamikaze, uh, one of our content creators. There he is, beautiful man. Uh, server, Connery, uh, Faction, NC. If you guys don't know him, he's a Twitch streamer. He's also a YouTuber, incredibly informed, uh, positive, 
super big smile. Look at the smile on his face right now, live on stream. If he's actually, pay- oh, I said that again. Uh, so none of those quotes. Go ahead. His question. Uh, firstly, congratulations on an incredible last couple of months with updates and content. Oh, thank you, Kami. Um, the energy within the community and from what we can see from the dev team has been electric. Question, can we expect to see more Empire-specific vehicles grace the battlefield? If not, something that is planned now, is there a chance that we may see more variety in vehicles on the battlefield in the future? New faction-specific vehicles will help give factions more, oh, excuse me, um, more of a unique identity and bring about new options for armor columns. Also, in addition to that, are there any are there plans to further improve the roles uh, that armor has in relation to objectives? Will base design uh, change to accommodate vehicles in a more meaningful way? Is this something uh, that the base mod system can accommodate? Thanks in advance. Um, so there's no plans for more Empire-specific vehicles at this time. However, we do want to diversify or further diversify uh, the factions as a whole. Um, yeah, yeah that, that's the direction we want to move. We don't want to move the other way. Awesome. Uh, as far as like vehicles uh, in relation to objectives, so like more vehicle capture points and that sort of thing, uh, I do think that we should incorporate them more. Yes. And yep. just because I just want like, to ask this at the end, so that way, because they're going to be like, they didn't put in their question, like to add that in the end. Sorry, guys, if you don't like it, uh, let me know in the Archer TV feedback. Do you have implementation? Do you have ideas that this will come out in this year at least? Now we're not quoting you. We're not saying you didn't bring it out, you little. But I'm saying, is this also in your mindset to give us opportunities to have different battles, like with vehicles like that, objective with vehicles? So like for the this, LLU so for in general, I don't like that question because like when you oh. feel like you're getting uh, strapped to a timeline, it's, nope. screw it's, it. It's hard. Thank yeah, you. the community, community like they they tend to glom onto that. Yeah, uh, even if you say like. You know, maybe it'll make its way. But no, for this one in particular, uh, we definitely will have some more vehicle related objectives coming later this year. Awesome. Okay. And it if it doesn't come out, guys, if it doesn't so. come out, don't quote them on this, guys. COVID 19 <laughs> is not fair to all of us right now, making it more difficult for all of us in our work for in our workflows. I'm not joking. I've been telling you guys this time and time again. Please be safe out there and wash your hands. You sick little Um, so let's go to the next uh next one. That's seven minutes left. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and basically GSLD, uh, Janus, uh, Alphit, uh, the Guardian Shield, Emeralds, a server uh, faction, the new conglomerate, and their question. Uh, I noticed that in the or that the last two updates, including Colossus update, added onto something from Escalation. The tactical slot uh, update allowed us, allowed us to spend merit for useful items, and the Colossus update will allow new ways to spend outfit resources. Will this be the case from now on, um, where one major update happens and the next few updates uh, will add on to it? Or is this just coincidence? Certainly not a coincidence. Um, we don't want to, to leave these new systems kind of like flapping in the wind. Um, what we do, though, is, uh, is a baseline implementation and then leave room for growth later. So uh, we definitely want to continue to expand on these systems as it makes sense. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's it. I think um, over the just to, to waste some more of my time um, over the the coming year and the year after, even we want to try to streamline the systems that we have in the game because there's there's like a lot of stuff right now, and it needs to feel the the pace of it needs to kind of get better and um, and easier to like understand and that sort of thing. So yeah, we don't just want to add more stuff, but awesome. uh, but certainly more stuff is on the way. Great. That's the next question. Trying to wrap it up. Uh, Faber one content creator, Twitch streamer, was there for um, TATF's uh, charity stream. Give give him some love, guys. This guy did it twice, man, for the vegan charity. Well done, Faber one. I love you, man. And uh, putting yourself out there and giving these guys the energy they needed for a 24-hour stream. Doctors Without Borders. Great work, man. Hans down. And also, he is the number one best dressed man in Planet Side Two. Give him that title, guys. Give him that title. All right, it's so content true. creator, check out his Twitch stream, his YouTube brand. He's amazing. Server, Miller, uh, Faction, VS. Question. Uh, after the launch of PSA on PC, a release on both PS4 and Xbox One was planned as well. Unfortunately, PSA is no more, but consoles are still very relevant in 2020, especially with the next gen coming soon. The PS4 clearly lacks the powerful hardware to overcome the technical hurdles of our beloved MMO FPS, but are the PS5 and Xbox One X being considered to appeal to a bigger audience? Kind regards from a member of the PC Master Race. Um, so you've 
you've noticed the um, the hurdles that we have uh, development wise with getting things to PS4. Uh, right now, it is not only um, that we have to. So whenever we port a system over to PS4, if it is uh, UI intensive, there is UI that needs to be redone, like completely redone. We don't have a like a consolidated UI. And in fact, one of the people who are or the individual that's being hired um, is uh, on on May 11th. Rather, he's going to be doing some work for us. The majority of that work is UI oriented. So uh, that's to help us, you know, get get the stuff to PS4. No plans for Xbox One, um, and. I don't want to say that there are concrete plans one way or another for PS5, but uh, I think it all needs to kind of be investigated right now, which is why we're kind of going through the uh, the steps to try to get uh, escalation to, to PS4. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Next question. Pigs, Steel, uh, Steel Slayer 20, Outfit, uh, Space Pigs, Server, Connery, Faction, Terran Republic, and their question. Uh, will we be able to uh, get customization specific to the bigger outfits, like having a helmet or uniform specific to recursion or pigs or dim giant uh, that can't be accessed by anyone other than a specific rank in the outfit or specific permissions? Would be cool to have no plans for it uh, currently, or I mean, no plans at all realistically, because we need to, to figure out like what the rules really need to be for, for outfits as far as like size and and that sort of thing. So, so yeah, like, don't really want to throw out special special privileges till till we got that all sorted. Awesome. And um, do you have an uh, an idea that this could actually happen, you know, anytime soon, or you're looking at like maybe next year? That way, they don't basically keep asking I, the question. I think, yeah, I think this question is more like a next year question. Cool. Because I know yeah. that from my logic, from talking to the devs, I think it's a next year question. Let's go to the next. Um, VCO, Walmart Greeter, um, Voodoo Companies. Good to see you guys. I'm not a VS main. Get it right. Anyways, uh, Server, Emerald, Faction, NC, New Conglomerate, and congratulations to you guys on the Bash and Smash. Uh, go ahead. I'll see. After the uh, qualification phase reset during the first Outfit Wars Alpha preseason, we saw uh, a few smaller but determined outfits manage to farm enough score to participate in one of the Desolation matches. Some of them were unable to bring a 48-man platoon team or had to heavily rely on outside ringers with the new overwatch uh, overwatch <laughs> Jesus. uh after wars formula this happens internally all the time too uh trying to make it easier for casual outfits uh to garner points what steps have you considered to make sure that only outfits that can actually field a full 48 man team without smurfs are not being uh denied a potential match so good question i think that this qualification season is going to be more uh, a lot more fair in that regards because you can't farm in the middle of the night and capturing bases or owning territory doesn't necessarily matter it's about how you perform in the fights uh and then that will lend itself to uh to some of the either the larger or even the more skillful uh, outfits and especially the ones who have um like who engage in uh qrf gameplay uh am i saying that right right quick reader play no, quick, no rapid i can't remember replay. Right. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, I think. I don't quick know. redeploy force. Yeah. QRF. Um, QRF. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Those those people definitely get a boon uh, in this this update. So so we'll see how it shakes out. Continue to make uh, make changes as necessary. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next question, and this will be up to three o'clock. And I'm going to ask you a question after this one. AODR catfish yeah. one two three angels of death tr server emerald faction Terran republic. Their question. Uh, with the recent voice comms being broken quite a while, do you or can you foresee any other comm breaking changes? In-game comms are the heart of coordinate. Listen, we're not trying to break things, okay? It just happened. Uh, I'm not sure why it happened, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're trying to figure that out right now. So, awesome. yeah, are you involved? No are you involved in uh, comms? Is that your job? No. Okay, no. thank you. I just no. want to make sure people um, stop asking. No. Exactly. Yeah, no, we, we mentioned it before uh, in, in the stream, but uh, that's a programmer's job, and I'm a designer. Uh, yeah. Just want to make sure. Okay, so uh, we'll to basically learn about that in the next uh, time in the future, and probably in 2021. Uh, thank you. And, Rel, I've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six questions left. Would you be interested in finishing it, or we can basically finalize it? Up to you, because we had to give, I honored you one hour, but I think we should basically just end it right here and just watch the video, because I promised you one hour. You said you had a question. Uh, not me personally. I'm going to show you a video if you like. Okay. Yeah. Go for uh, it. Yeah. You want to show the video? Yeah. Let's do it. 
All right, yeah. guys. Just to basically show the last questions, guys. All of you guys, thank you guys so much for submitting. We're just going to show the question. Rel's not going to answer it. We're just going to go quick to show this that I had it available. There you go, Todd Gray. Love you, buddy. Make sure you get more votes next time. And then there's Western Tacticals. Basically, love you, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Muddy Pants. He goes in there saying, huge fan. I'll send that directly to him, basically, as a as a respect to Rel. Next question from Atypic from Vode. Get more votes, guys, because there's only this Western out there. Um, Sentinels uh vote atypic one of the shoutcasters great job on your api stuff that you created i don't know anything about programming here's the next question from ifcu uh from internal cobalt uh unit thank you so much for posting your question and your efforts guys honestly and the next one is dicks i mean and <laughs> God. Uh, can i get that erased as well if you can you'll bother jane thanks uh so okay. yeah so from little uh lieutenant nice nikki pleasure to see you again buddy uh and then we got uh cobalt strikers um you didn't even fill it out right but anyways thank you for their, <laughs> thank you for your uh thank you for your uh post and then at uh, the same time time trooper i love you man to be confirmed really you little uh you this didn't post like the rest of participation it. trophies yeah exactly thank you guys so much and I just want to basically tell you guys right now, Ewog is my admin, my CEO for RCTV. Go to RCTV.com. You can see who Ewog is. He does not play Planicide 2. And he makes your outfit highlight spotlight videos. And he has the newest one, newest one ready. I am self-promoting myself. It sounds like it on my own channel. But I'm self-promoting Ewog because he puts in the effort. And he made this video through his eyes. I don't even edit, guys. All I do is network. All I do is talk. I'm just a talker. So let's go watch that video. I'm going to give him some love for all of the effort and energy he puts into Arsha TV. And for me, thank you so much, buddy. And here is that video. You guys will only get one question each. Make sure you don't spam more than like two different questions and stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and switch the chat back over and give a chance for Rel to answer three questions. And here it goes. The three questions. Holy oh, man, mother of... Yeah. I was wondering who had the uh, the copy and paste ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen this that in my so entire fast. life. It looks like officially... I'm gonna do my voice this time. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one person who did it perfectly is Jaden Devin. And number two is Bear With. And number three is Orion. That's the three people and their questions are... With all the amazing content that has been coming out, will we be getting an update to dedicated to fixing bugs, especially ones that have been around for years? So I wouldn't say uh, an update dedicated to fixing bugs because that's not like it's not super sexy. Um, but we we are certainly going to be making an effort to do more bug fix heavy updates. Um, the scale of our updates is it's going to be a little bit like this. Um, and uh, so during the, the lower ones, we want to focus more on like you know the quality of life and the bug fixing that sort of thing. Uh, there was a PTS update that went out yesterday that has a long-standing bug um, fix for uh, for Planetside 2, and that's going to be making its way this uh, this week, I believe. So just a, like an interim downtime, and anytime we get we're able to um, to fix some of these long-standing uh, bugs, we kind of just want to like just kick it out, you know, get it get it fixed and make the game better. Awesome. Just to show these individuals so that way they know who really won right there. There's their questions going across. And there's the next question right there. So that way you guys are wondering, like, okay, when RC TV just push the equal sign, this is what's on my screen, guys. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys have something else. This is what I see. And there's no way I can basically do some ridiculous stuff on that. All right. So next question, bear with uh, bear with me. At RC TV, how many Colossus vehicles are you planning on allowing each outfit to have stored in the outfit's resource? Example, each outfit can hold one bastion. Uh, yeah, still undecided on that. So the balance is going to depend on on how strong we want to make it, right? So if it's if it's too um, if it's too strong, like then you you only want to pull it like when a bastion's up, maybe unless it's like you know able to farm vehicles, and that that wouldn't be great. If it's too expensive, people aren't going to pull it unless they know that they can do a whole lot with it. If the if the bastion is able to counter it um, too easily then people aren't even going to want to pull it when there's a bastion up. Instead, they'll just pull it when they want to screw around and farm people. So it's it's a balance. The Off the top of my head, it's um, I'm thinking of like maybe two to four, probably two uh, to start out with. And we could always change change that later. 
totally willing to do it. But again, it all has to go through through balancing first. And, uh, and none of that's been been done thus far. We're focusing on getting it functional. And even the stuff that you saw in the stream is just like, it's all prototypes. Awesome. Well said. And then last one. Oh, Ryan. Uh, will there be any changes to bases and terrain, uh, terrain on Indar and Esmir? Yes. Next question. Oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's all we all got for get. today. That's all you get. That's all you get, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to basically respect Rel going off the time on uh, 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Give it up to this man. He gave us the additional 14 minutes. He has got to go basically back to his work. I also have an outfit spotlight next. And you, I hope to see you guys in the next 45 minutes as I go get prepped for that. I love you all. Let's go and give it to another Planicide 2 streamer. This individual is somebody who I met in one of the first times I basically started streaming. Let's give it up to Nico101. Guys, I'm rating him right now. And let's make sure we basically spread that love in his chat. Thank you all for stopping by. I love you all. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, thank you guys.